Hey guys, I'm going to do something that I said I would never do again, and here I am doing it. I'm actually going to try to do a, a get ready with me. I have my skincare on. I have my uh, eye, um, my mascara on. I have my eye patches on. I also have my sunblock on. So I have my sunblock on the majority of my face except around my eyes and I have my eye patches on. So these eye patches or eye masks, um, sometimes I have them, I take them off and other times I put them on But um, when I'm doing my makeup. But so what I'm gonna do is I just do a base and I use the, the Wet n Wild Cream Brulee and I put this all over my lids. Now, I'm 67, right? And um, so I have very, very crepey skin. I have loose lids. I have, all my life, I had hoods that, um, you know, I've just always had hoods all my life. And it's been very, very difficult for me. I am using a Z palette, just so you can see how it's kind of a mess. I'm using a Z palette and I'm using the, my favorite of all, out of all the shadows I've ever used has been Viseart and it is the Amethyst. So I have used the e.l.f., not the e.l.f., I'm sorry, the Wet n Wild Cream Brulee all over my lids, just a very light coating. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create like my sort of get ready with me that I would do in the morning. And I start by taking the medium pink or medium purple shade in the Viseart palette and I just kind of like put it on my crease, just like you're seeing now, and it's pretty messy. And then I kind of go down as if I'm going to create a V or a um, reverse seven or something like that. And I do a lot of blending, although I'll be the first to admit that I am not um, a blendaholic, meaning that I should be a lot better with my blending than I am. I'm gonna lift the little color up so you can see what I'm using. It is, I know, almost all gone. You know, I've tried to, I've tried to find this little palette from Viseart. This is the Amethyst palette. I've tried to find it and um, it seems to be, every time I look, it seems to be sold out everywhere and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is just really awful. So this week, it's been kind of really interesting. I've had I've had sort of two fun events this week that I was really looking forward to. And um, one of the events ha was that we went up, um, well, I shouldn't say we, I went up after work to a, um, a uh, basically to Portsmouth, New Hampshire, which is probably about, I don't know, maybe about 40 minutes from my home. And uh, we were having a company event where we, we were all going out on a boat and we were all gonna, we were gonna cruise the, I can always pronounce, I always pronounce this wrong, the Pisaquatica, I know, Pisaquatica River. I will uh, link the name below so you can correct me, but all my life I've lived in this area and all my life I have said that wrong. I've not been able to say it right at all. So um, because I'm, I work, right? Most of my day looks are going to be pretty pretty low key. I'm not going to be a uh, I'm not going to be all done up and and stuff like that because mainly you know, when you work day to day, you can't be looking like you're going to a party when you're going to work type of thing. So, I do put the this is all the Viseart again except for the Wet n Wild, and I do play it and I I play around with it and I use the I go from one eye to the other because otherwise I would never be able to to uh, put it together halfway decent, right? I mean, it would look ridiculous. So I do, I go from one eye to another. I kind of look at myself. I'm looking at a mirror down below. I kind of look at myself and I kind of like, hmm, this is so weird. So I do, I kind of look at one eye and I go to the other. Then I say, oh, well, you know, maybe I want to do it a little bit darker. Maybe I want it to be a little bit more, more bolder. And I just go back and forth. Now, granted, I've already got my mascara on, but you'll see at the end, I do have some powdering on my mascara. Um, you'll see that I 
you know, will end up touching that up. And if you do put your makeup on with these eye masks in place, be aware that they do slip and slide. So you might have to move them up again. But it actually serves two purposes, right? Like if you're using a eyeshadow, that's kind of really has a lot of fallout. Although I will say that my my Viseart palette has very minimal minimal fallout ever on me, where almost every other palette I've used does have a ton of fallout. Um, doesn't seem to matter the brand. I think the only one that comes closest to my you know to my my feelings about the lack of fallout or the amount of fallout would be my Mac palette, and I've only got two Mac palettes and those come the very those come the closest to um, to the Viseart as far as the lack of fallout every other palette I have and I've got quite a few and but every other palette I have even if you tap off your brush I'm gonna get a lot of fallout and if fallout may not bother anyone you know um, or it may bother someone I really don't know what I measure is that I don't want to have a whole lot of loose powder all over the place and I also measure how does it work during the day because I very rarely am going to use a uh, any kind of a primer on my lids. I think because I'm so much of a person that is not a pro at this that if I use a primer on my lid it's going to be a mess. So right now, I'm going to go up close, I'm sorry, but I'm going to just do a little bit of a liner. And I think the liner that I'm using, this is Ulta Beauty. It's one of those pen liners, liquid. And because I have the dry eye issue, I am not going to... Um, I don't really do anything. Whoops, I made a mistake there. But that's all right. I can always fix my boo-boos. I tried to do a little bit of a wing. I, I'm, I stink at wings, but I keep trying. So because of the dry eye issue, I really try hard to not do anything that's going to be impactful on the inside of my eyes. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, hmm, I need to dramatic, uh, make it a little bit more dramatic for my liking. So I'm going to go and darken out the edge a little bit more. And again, I'm going to do both. So you can kind of see. I mean, isn't this kind of like ridiculous that I'm doing this? <laughs> Get ready with me, so to speak. Anyways, here I go again. And then I always will take one of my, and I, it's usually, I end up using like the Urban Decay um, and I also use the N NYX, but I'll, I'll take one of those pencils and I'll go down a little bit more into my eye. Because my liquid liner just kind of like, you know, gave me a little bit, whoops, I just took this off, so I'll take this off. So I just took my, oh. Oh, so good. I just took the um, eye things off. So I have no idea. I mean, I'm looking in a mirror, but you know what? It usually takes me several times to, I'll go back and forth. I'll put this on. I'll go do some stuff. I'll do my makeup. Then I come back and I look at myself and I go, oh, you need more of this. You need more of that. But just for a very kind of quick daytime look for every day, this is pretty well what I do almost every day that if you're looking at any Insta stories that I do and you see what I have on for makeup and this is pretty well what I have on. This is this is the status quo. So anyways, it's sad to say we went up to Portsmouth and uh, I had, um, I was really looking forward to it because it was a, a night out and Jay was golfing so I went over to my girlfriend's house who happens to work for the same company that I work for and we drove together so her husband drove us he's also he he went because he doesn't golf like Jay does so he went and um, drove us up there and 
he hung out with us on the boat and the boat ride was beautiful. I'm going to superimpose some, some shots at the end of this. And this is exactly what I do. I kind of like, you know, I just keep adding, right? So now I'm just touching up my, my mascara. And because I want to make this just be a low key look, other than this one corner over here, which I will touch up with probably a little bit of my, my uh, eyeliner just to bring that out because I had a little gap in my my feet, my, my uh, wing, stupid wing. So I know I look stupid, right? Um, so we went out in the boat ride. It was like awesome. Take a look at some of the scenery. Now Portsmouth Harbor is just beautiful at night and, and it's always iffy. You never know what the wind is going to be like. You never know what... Any, you know, whether it's going to cloud over, you have no idea. When you get out to, uh, the Pisaquatica is right at the mouth of the ocean. And when you get out to that end, the current is rough. And of course, if there's any vessels coming into harbor, any big tugs and stuff like that, you're going to feel it. So we had no idea um, how it was going to be. And we just totally, totally, I mean, totally lucked out. We went from the ore house where we got on the small heritage and it was just our ports seacoast office and we went out down the river and you know into you could see a bunch of the boats that were be bopping around and then we went out the mouth and we went past portsmouth lighthouse and uh, we just went out it was it was amazing and you can see us going around the uh, Whaleback Lighthouse and a few of the other things. And then we made the turn coming in. And um, when we made the turn coming in, of course we were going into the sunset because we, we left at seven. And I don't remember what time we, I think it was a two hour cruise. So um, when we were coming back, the sun had already set and you could, you could get over the Western sky as we were coming in. You could just see this beautiful backsplash of color. And as we were, we were cruising in all of the harbor buildings, the, the restaurants along the harbor, the condominiums along the harbor, they were all lit up. And the most beautiful sight of all was the steeple of the North Church in Portsmouth that you could see from the water all lit up. It was just amazing. It was like such a beautiful evening. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And then after um, after that, we left, we, I came home, and uh, Jay and I decided on Friday night we were gonna go up to take a ride to the beach. So we took a, um, I think it was, I think we left around four o'clock. We went up to the beach, we got up there, we found parking and then we walked to a restaurant and we had um, an early dinner and a couple of cocktails, just watching the beach action, just watching all the people go crazy at the beach. It was really wild. So we did that and then we walked around the sand castle. So I wanted to see the sand castles. The judging, by the time you this is published, the judging will already have happened, but I, I don't know what the results are yet. I have my favorites. Um, I've always marveled over the artistic you know, creations that people do when they, I mean, they're working with sand and I know there's a whole process and all, but it just is amazing to me. So uh, I hope this is just a little bit of a taste of, of what it was like for us, but it was just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. So normally what I do is I take a little small brush, depending on the size of the brush um, and the color I use, and I normally just tip it into the shadow and I'm going to shadow my lower part of my lids. And when I do that, um, sometimes you do get a little follow depending on what you're going to be using. But when I do that, it kind of kind of gives me more of an accent around my eyes. So I will end up putting on my foundation. I'm going to be using my SD Lauder. I'm going to be putting on my foundation. I will do a little bronzer, I will do a little blush, I'll do something with my hair, and then I will come back and visit you again. Hang on. Okay, so, um, yeah, I still have to do my hair. 
I still have to get dressed, so I have to put it up. I'll probably put it up in a bun today. I'm not too sure. But I just wanted to tell you what I used uh, for my sunblock, and I really, really am loving this. This is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield. I love color science. So this is what I have on, and it plays super nice with my makeup. I am wearing Estee Lauder, and I have it in the shade 3C2 Pebble. That's what I have on. This is the color in Estee Lauder that I've worn forever. I have my blush is ColourPop Vogue. I really like this a lot. And on top of that, I have the... Uh, Palladio, I know, this is, I'm blushing. I really like this color. This is just a really pretty, pretty blow, a glow. And I just put it, I just touch my cheeks with it just to give myself sort of a sun-kissed type of a look. And um, on my lips, I have my Avon lip liner, something mod, and um, Romantic Rose 450. This this is probably the one I wear the most on lipsticks. I just prefer my lips to look lighter rather than darker. Some of you will disagree. And then I have my Sephora lip gloss. This has turned into, other than the drugstore, uh, I have a couple of eye candy lip glosses. I really like them. But this Sephora gloss, I have two of these. I really like them. So that's what I have on my lips. And my eyes, ha my eyes are totally the Viseart amethyst palette with the only exception that I did not use is the super dark brown if you know that palette and I wish I could show it to you but I have it like all mixed up in a Z palette so um oh, and it just got it messed up so I am in desperate look I'm looking desperately to replace that because that's my favorite palette and I'm almost out I mean I'm literally almost out so this is my everyday I'm going to work look and um, you know normally I'll, like I say I'll touch my eyes up a little bit maybe you know I'll go in and I'll check them out and I usually go over it with my mascara again um, Essence Lash Princess is what I'm using today so I always do my mascara first because I'm just a slob. <laughs> I put the mascara on and I would I would be having to remove my eyeshadow if I did my eyeshadow first. So I put my mascara on first, then do my eyeshadow, then clean up some of the powder if there is any residue around my lashes. When I use my Viseart palette, I have very, very little fallout and I have very little work to do around my lashes. But typically when I'm all done, I put in other light touch-up coat of the mascara around my lashes. And uh, the Ultra, you know, ink liner, I have that. And then I have the Urban Decay Black that I went around a little bit. Now, if I was going to be going out, um, I would pop the inside of my eyes. Sometimes I, I would use these. These are all, I mean, this one I use a lot just to give it a little, just to give it a little bit more of a pop color. Um, and then I, you know, I would use this, and I usually do my inners. But I'm, you have to be very, very careful because if you put it on like I just put on, you're going to look ridiculous. So you do have to work it in, blend it in a little bit. You do have to work it in, blend it in a little bit so it doesn't look ridiculous, you know, on you. But that's sort of my, yeah, so that's my everyday kind of look. I feel really silly doing this, but... So many of you have asked for this, so here it is, guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed some of the photos that I put in for the trip that, uh, the, the boat ride and sandcastles. It was just a nice week having to be able to, you know, being able to experience that. So anyways, guys, um, thank you so much for watching. And I know I haven't said it in a while. Please make sure you subscribe. I, um, you know, I, I hate to always ask for subscribers, but it certainly does mean an awful lot. You're watching, your thumbs up, and you subscribing to the channel. Truly appreciate it. I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye-bye.